Okay, now look at that. Exercise is not a destination. It's a journey. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, it's uh, one of the things that is actually more lethal, 20 times more lethal than HIV AIDS. Do you know that? You don't know. I think this is the first time, right? It's 20 times killing many, many more people than HIV AIDS. All right, and do you know that uh, people, um, our children of today, you know those of you in the 30s? How many of you are in the 30s? Not really. I think all of you are in the 17s, right? Okay, well, yeah, okay, okay. All of you, I mean all the people out there who are 17 years old, those are our children and all that who are 30 years old, this century, right right now that is 30 years old, okay, it is likelihood that they will not live to a ripe old age because of obesity, because of obesity. Okay, let's go to the next slide and see what obesity does. Okay, but first, first of all, the definition for obesity, of course, very simple. Okay, we make it uh, very easy. It's a, it's a population, um, you know, it's a way, a, a useful population level measure, okay, to measure whether you are, you know, the, the Malay for it is gemuk, ataupun obese, ataupun terlalu gemuk, ataupun they call it at one point of time morbidly obese. But actually, they changed the, the term. They didn't want to use morbidly obese, okay, because uh, the, the title of it, morbidly, is really morbid. 
You agree? Okay, so, okay, uh, very easy. We take our, our, our weight divided by our height times height. We all know that. What is your BMI level? That's your body mass index, right? So if you're about 25 to 29.9, okay, you are uh, in the category of overweight. And of course, if you are obesity, um, you are more than 30 equal or more than 30 BMI. So we have to look at it, you know, in a very serious manner, okay? Now, um, once obesity creeps up on you, these are the things happening to your body. Okay, uh, but before that, okay, the next slide is going to show you what's happening in your body. But right now, look at this. Okay, this is a report by the World Health Organization in 2013. Look at that. Okay, that's about uh, 1.4 million of the world's adult population overweight. That's a very whopping number. And of course, 11% of them are obese, which is very, very big. Okay, very big number. And with what? Okay, we women have it all. Obese also kita juga, they say that. Okay, so 11% are obese with more women than men. Okay, being obese. So we are ahead of the race, right? So, look at this. The negative effects of obesity on your health and your life. We all know it. Okay, uh, obesity, uh, lower life expectancy. Uh, they said that on the average, okay, people lose about six to seven years of their life just by being obese. So if you don't want to live much longer, just be obese. <laughs> okay, now again, many problems, it comes with it, okay, uh, very simple, um, you know, you don't talk about obese, I mean, if you're a little bit overweight, what do you feel actually? What do you feel? Do you feel tired? We were talking about penat, right? This morning, we were talking about fatigue, always forever tired, okay, climb upstairs also, like the tongue coming out of you, right? So tired, and then what next, okay? And then, uh, pain here, pain there, right? You notice? And you notice that you can't move as agile as you can, right? And then, do you notice something when we are obese and all that? Of course, it comes with it, medical complications. But apart from that, you look at how obese people move. Sometimes they move like old people. Do you agree? Right? So again, the additional weight actually puts a lot of stress on your joints, you know. I'm, I'm talking about people, you know, let's say you're obese, that you're not exercising, you're not looking after your food, and then you become, uh, uh, you know, you pack on the weight and all that. So, obesity, globesity, okay, uh, being obese, being overweight and all that are all those unhealthy fats that you're packing to your body that will have a very negative effect on your health. And when we're talking about health, what, what exactly is it? Health is not just free from diseases. It's also being good in your social, your psychology, your physical, your happiness. Agree? That's health. That's what we're talking about. Mental health, physical health, social health. You know, whether you're happy being in your body, whether you're happy being with other people around your body. Do you agree? Okay, next one. Look at this one. Okay, do you know that obesity is one of the risk factors for 25 diseases? So, if you want all these diseases, very simple, just be obese. <laughs> right? Okay, so, you know, you have it. It's like, you know, uh, they, they call it the, the sister's diseases. So, if you have obese, I mean, if you're obese, if you are uh, over, over fat, if you're overweight, over fat, obese, you know, you'll run the risk of getting diabetes, high blood pressure, and then uh, high cholesterol and all those are equate to uh, you know your your health conditions with regards to your heart just now this morning right uh, we we heard about heart health right this is one of it obesity is a risk conditions for heart diseases yes okay next one now look at this okay now obesity risk factor for diseases not only that it is actually a disease okay the american uh, medical association finally after a lot of fights a lot of um, you know um uh, okay or not okay or not no, finally they finally officially classified obesity as a disease and i personally think that we have to fight it as a disease because if not then many of us wouldn't take it very very seriously okay next one look at this one everybody yay we win <laughs> Okay, okay, Malaysia, come on. We are the fattest in Southeast Asia. And not only that, we are the sixth fattest in the Asia Pacific, but is that the kind of trophy that we want? Okay, yes. Oh, okay, I'm worried. Okay, look at this. Malaysia is more like
likely to be obese are, again, the ladies. Come on, International Women's Day. This is the realization that we women has to stand up to it. You see, do something about it and change the ratio, okay? See, Malaysians more likely to be obese are females, okay? The, of course, the lower educated. Why? Because of the lack of education, perhaps, you know, the lack of awareness, and of, of course, those with history of family illness, the non-smokers, again, you see, does it mean that if you smoke, you are not obese? Hmm, right? So does it mean that you have to pick up smoking not to be obese? Not really! There are really smokers who are obese, right? Okay, and then highest among adults between 14 to 59 years old. You guys are still 17, so... <laughs> okay. Okay, this lady has actually lost 25 kilograms in about three months. Right, this is actually the RTM, okay, uh, courtesy of RTM Television One. This is a fat to fit reality TV program where I actually, um, you know, bully them with a lot of love. Okay, for about three months, they have lost up to uh, 10 kilograms to about 25 kilograms. Okay, the reason why I played this, okay, is to let you guys see the faces behind obesity. is the fetters with certain percentage of people being overweight and obese and all that. Now, those are the numbers, okay? Those are the numbers. Okay, what I want you to do, everybody, okay? Alright? Can we switch off this for a little bit? Okay, I want you to take your pen right now. Just draw a, a number. Just put a number there, okay? What is your favorite number? Write a number for me. Okay, what is your favorite number? Uh, number six. Huh. Number eight. Five. Very lucky. Okay. Number seventeen. Okay, that's incidentally my favorite number. Yeah, okay. Uh, anybody? Number one? Okay, number one. Always number one. Okay, number six? Okay, because Malaysia is the fattest, is it? <laughs> okay, next slide. Now look at this. Okay, obesity, they say, that doesn't run in the family. It says, the main problem is that nobody runs. <laughs> okay, that's a, just a little joke, okay, uh, taking a pun on the word running, okay? Now, okay, next slide. That's me. <laughs> okay, whoa. <laughs> okay, that's me, yeah, that's not my auntie, that's me. <laughs> okay, everybody, why, the reason why I played you the little video just now of the RTM Television One Fat to Fit Reality Program is to tell you guys that, okay, remember I asked you to write that number there? Okay, now what I want you to do right now is draw a, a circle above your number. Okay, draw a circle above your number. Okay? Alright. And then I want, to, I want you to put a, the, the eyes, the nose, and a smiley face over there, would you? What do you think? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? You see you? Do you see you? Do you see that there's a face there? Right? Because numbers, if you give people numbers, they wouldn't relate to it, isn't it? So if you put a smiley face there, 
right? It is a phase you can relate to. That's the reason why I put on the Fat to Fit reality TV show just now. Okay, just to tell you that there are faces behind the numbers of obesity. All right? That can be your friend. That can be your mom. That can be your daughter. That can be you. You agree? Oh, look at that. Everybody, look at this. Okay, can you show everyone? Yeah. Turn it around. Look at that. You see, Anna, she's, she's actually laughing about it, you know? Because actually when you draw a face there, then you can identify. You see, that's emotions, okay? Now, when I was given this opportunity to talk about obesity, to talk about the topic I chose today, okay, I was thinking like, oh, this is the International Women's Day, okay? I'm going to stand here, not to give you the numbers, okay? I'm sure, okay, being in University of Malaya, okay, we are, we are the research university. I'm, uh, you know, I give you numbers and all that, but I want to be more than that. I want me with you to share a special bond here so that when you walk out of this theater today after my talk, you're going to tell yourself that you picked something from whatever did he say. Okay, so this is it. Alright, next one. That's me actually. Okay, can we go back to that again? Okay. That's me incidentally. How I started on this journey was because I used to be 89 kilograms. Right now I'm about 40 odd kilograms. Okay. Uh, my mom actually obese, okay, uh, passed away, okay, uh, before that she suffered stroke from being obese and she was in a wheelchair. My father died of heart attack, okay, and uh, my brother, while driving in Kuala Lumpur, he died at 49 years old of stroke. I have a younger brother who's 35 years old who just had mild stroke and I've got another brother and sister who suffers from gout, hypertension. See, so that Actually, I'm a Kaya with all these diseases waiting to come to me. Alright, so what I do, okay, it was because on the legacy of my father, okay, he actually said that, okay, you get all the education you have, go out into the world, spread it out to the world, and make, try to make a difference in everybody's life. Okay, now, I, okay, when you think about making a difference in everybody's life, it's not me, it is you. Okay, now today, with that DVD, right, people are going to ask me, Didi, what's the shortcut? to weight loss. I'm always go. Cool. how many of you like shortcuts? I love shortcuts. You know, if there's a motivation pill, I'll take it, man. Okay? How many of you have problems with food? Alright? Because you want to lose that weight, you just simply cannot lose that weight, right? Okay, how many of you have problems with exercising? Ah, more hands. Okay, how many of you have problems with problems? <laughs> okay, how many of you have more problems, a lot of problems with motivation? Motivation. Wow, everybody motivated. Huh? Wow, serious. Okay? But do you think that motivation is the answer to every single thing in your life? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, correct. Huh? You hear that? Okay, let's go to the next one. Look at this. Your woke up motivation chart. This one is like your, your new year resolution, right? Yes. Uh, we started out very strong, 1st of January after that. Huh? Now it's uh, what month is today? Oh. How many of you are still on your new year resolution? Hey, nobody. <laughs> okay, International Women's Day. Today is going to be our New Year resolution, ladies. Okay? Now, again, heavy lunch. I hope you're not going downwards right now when I'm talking to you. After this, huh, go home and then you can rest. Huh? Okay, next one. Okay, how am I going to... Okay, a lot of us, you know, when we're talking about some things that we need to do, I hope that my talk today is not only for the people who has problems with weight loss, obesity and all that. I hope this will translate into our everyday life, okay? Towards the thing that we want to do. How many of you dream of becoming a better person? In terms of health, in terms of social, in terms of work, yes? Yes? But a lot of us, Malaysia boleh, I know. Right? Right or not? You boleh or not? Boleh. Uh, in, in English, say uh, boleh is what? Can. A lot of people can. Yes, they can lose weight. Yes, they can exercise. But will they? <laughs> you answer your own question. You see? You know you can exercise? Yes, you know one of the easiest, not really easiest, huh? one of the most effective ways to do is to exercise, right? For weight loss. Yes, but how many of us are exercising? You agree? How many of you always think, oh, we are exercises for weight loss only? How, how about losing, uh, exercising for health, right? It makes you so much more, a lot of stamina in you. You feel more driven, right? You feel more confident. Do you agree? Okay, incidentally, the reason why I actually tried to lose weight was because a guy came up to me in the gym and told me, tuck in your shirt, Didi. 
at that point of time when I was 89, year, uh, 89 kilograms, when I had flaps all over me. So can you imagine when they say, ah, tuck in your shirt means what? Ah? Tuck in your babat, right? Yeah, so that was devastating, okay? So again, the question is, will you? Okay? So again, I'm going to give you something, a little of a habit thing. Okay, do you realize that if you continue a habit for about 21 days, it sticks with you? Yes? Right? So, again, how many of you want to start tomorrow? Tomorrow is always a new day. How many of you want to start tomorrow? Tell you what, when tomorrow comes, it becomes what? <laughs> when tomorrow comes, it becomes today. Where's your tomorrow? No more tomorrow. Actually, you must start today. You got it? So never, never start to, uh, tomorrow. I used to always want to start on a Monday. Yeah, I always want to start on Monday. I do not know why. But it's always like, you know, I always say, I want to start on something on a Monday. But every time a Monday comes, I always say, yeah, never mind, I'll start another Monday. <laughs> Alright, next one. Okay, look at this. Okay, we don't grow. Okay, when things are easy. We grow when we face challenges, isn't it? Obesity is a challenge. Obesity is a challenge. You agree? Right? Now, if, okay, how are you going to uh, affect the changes? How are you going to affect the changes? By being the change yourself. You agree? Okay, what are my motto? You know, plus, plus, plus. You want to write that? Okay? I'll let you share it, okay? Alright? Plus, plus, plus. For me, the motto is positive begets positive. When you're positive, you notice that people like to be around very happy people. Do you agree? Right? It's the same thing, okay? So be positive, be the positive change. People around you will change. Walk the talk, talk the walk, they say. You agree? Right? You agree with me? Okay. So let's go to the next one. That's my cat. <laughs> okay. You see, spread yourself thin. Remember, okay, even thin people need the exercise because there are cases where thin people have high cholesterol. Do you agree with me? Alright, so spread yourself thin, okay, and of course it's Happy International Women's Day. That is my uh, website, okay. I welcome collaborations, especially, you know, with regards to health and fitness and all that. I come all the way from Singapore, okay, and uh, today I chose to be here. Okay, uh, to actually uh, share with you my Globesity journey. Uh, I'm actually scheduled to accept an award in Singapore uh, for the Shining Lady Award. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, I said it is not a long journey because my journey starts with little steps. Okay, only with the first steps, with little steps, can we do a big leap. People don't climb mountain just by just one leap. You agree? It goes little by little by little, okay? So I hope that the talk that I did just now, right now, okay, you have picked up something, all right? Now, I want everybody to stand up, please. All right, okay, I want you to put one leg up, one leg up, behind, all right? Okay, one hand up. I'm on heels, mind you, okay? Okay, close your eyes, come on, close your eyes, close your eyes, listen to me, okay, close your eyes, listen to me, I want you to hold your right hand at the shoulder level, do not slap your friends uh, unless you don't like them, okay, still with eyes closed, I know, you're cheating, okay, now I want you to move it right in front of you, close your eyes, I know some of you are holding the pillars, I'm catching you, okay, alright, touch your nose, very good, and then I want you to take up the other arms, put it up, Okay, put it above your shoulders with, ah, uh, you're cheating, you're cheating, alright, put it up above your shoulders, put it up above your shoulders, alright, and then in that position, I want you to sit down without holding the back of the chair. <laughs> Everybody sit down, okay, do you notice that, okay, when, when you listen to that instructions, right, you are doing so many things, right, that's what you are, you are an international woman, with international superpowers because, okay, not only are you juggling a lot of things at the same time, multitasking, right? You are multitasking, right? Just now you're doing so many things at one time, but you are successful at doing it. I know some of you are still learning the ropes, but you'll get that eventually, okay? So remember, dream big, okay? You are the dream. Live it, believe it, and then happy International Women's Day. Thank you very much, everybody.
Thank you, Miss.